The question about the exact nature and dimensions of the universe is as old as star research itself. A look at history shows that the terrestrial picture of our galactic home has already undergone some drastic changes. Whereas people in the past assumed that the universe was a comparatively small entity with the Earth at its center, the gigantic expanse of space is now described by many modern experts as infinite. Today, we would like to take a closer look at this galactic infinity and compare it with the common theories of experts will illuminate both the spatial and the existential infinity of our galactic home. Does the universe have something like a clearly delineated edge? And will the cosmos one day meet a final fate? Together with you, we are looking for answers. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to stay up to date from now on. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that you like the topics of our videos. Does the universe have an edge? By now we know that the universe is constantly expanding. In fact, in the 1990s, it became known that this galactic expansion is even happening much faster than scientists had previously predicted. In view of this fact, a central question arises. If the universe is expanding, into what space is it growing? Or to put it another way, what is beyond the universe? This question implies the assumption that the universe has something like a spatial edge. At this point, however, it begins to get a little complicated because in fact, experts still do not agree whether such a cosmic abyss really exists. In order to visualize this exciting topic, we can imagine the universe as a large building for the sake of simplicity. Is there a kind of edge within this building, like a window, over which we can look in order to see the areas beyond? The answer to this question is probably not. One reason for this is the so-called cosmological principle. This basic assumption of scientific cosmology states that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic. In detail, this means that the universe always presents itself to the observer in the same way, regardless of his point of view and direction of observation. The cosmological principle is based not least on the assumption that the same physical laws prevail in every part of space. Although the different regions of the universe show some differences in detail in their respective constellations of celestial bodies, in the overall context, no place in the universe is fundamentally different in structure than elsewhere. Consequently, there is no edge in the cosmos, nowhere we could go to see what is outside the universe. The Balloon Analogy A metaphor often used to visualize this borderless universe is that of a small insect deposited on the surface of a balloon. This little creepy crawly can run there endlessly in any direction without ever encountering a clearly discernible edge. Even though the surface of the balloon is known not to be an infinite structure, from the insect's perspective, however, it has neither a boundary nor a recognizable center. But how is it possible within this balloon analogy that the structure, or in other words, the universe, constantly expands if it does not have an edge itself? If we pumped more and more air into the balloon, the insect would notice with time that the things on the balloon surface moved further and further away from each other. At the same time, the speed with which the corresponding objects drifted apart would always remain the same. At this point, however, the balloon analogy reaches its limits. While the balloon expands into a three-dimensional space, this scheme cannot be applied to the universe. By scientific definition, there is no outside for the universe. Therefore, the universe does not expand into an external space, but it's the contained space itself which grows continuously. While many researchers rack their brains in view of this complex topic, Stephen Hawking dismissed the question about what lies beyond the universe as nonsensical from the outset. Based on the fact that the universe formed out of nothing and contains everything that exists, one might as well ask what lies further north than the North Pole. Exactly how the expansion of the universe occurs has always been a subject of debate in scientific research. For example, experts still argue about whether the universe is infinite in space at all. Theoretically, the universe could also practically wrap around itself in a higher dimension, roughly in the same way that the two-dimensional surface of a sphere spans around itself in three dimensions. 
to verify whether the aforementioned balloon metaphor is consistent with the real characteristics of the universe, experts are looking for repeating points in the sky, analogous to the assumption that the insect on the balloon could run in one and the same direction until it finally returns to its starting point. Such a discovery in the firmament would be a strong indication that the universe is indeed curved in this way. The End of the Universe Although the universe is commonly referred to as an infinite entity, many experts agree that this designation refers only to the spatial manifestations of the universe. Consequently, the universe could one day arrive at the final chapter of its lifespan and eventually reach its galactic end. As to how the end of our cosmic home will proceed exactly, different theories exist. A widespread thesis is called the Big Rip and refers to the steadily increasing expansion rate of the universe. Ultimately, the expansion processes of the cosmos, fueled by a special form of dark energy, would culminate in a so-called singular event. As a reminder, within astronomy, singularities are those places where gravity is so strong that the curvature of space-time is colloquially infinite. Generally, the experts agree that our universe originated in the course of the Big Bang from such a singularity. Transferred in reverse to the Big Rip, this process would mean that the universe is torn apart from the largest to the smallest structures. First, the large galaxy clusters would be torn apart, then galaxies, individual celestial bodies, atoms, and ultimately, elementary particles. Big Crunch As mentioned earlier, however, the Big Rip model is not the only theory used to predict the end of the universe. While in this variant, the universe ultimately falls victim to its own unchecked increasing expansion rate, the Big Crunch scenario is based on the influence of the gravitational force. Under the influence of this force, the universe would visibly collapse before it finally undergoes a kind of reverse Big Bang and finally disappears completely. Based on the assumption that dark energy would diminish over time, the effects of gravity would exceed the effects of this force in a few trillion years. Once this occurs, the expansion of the universe would come to a complete halt, effectively reversing itself. Instead of growing steadily, natural processes would henceforth drive an accelerated contraction of the universe. As a result, the temperature would also continue to increase. About 100,000 years before the final big crunch, the cosmic microwave background radiation would eventually be hotter than the surface of stars. Immediately before the end of the universe, the intense radiation would explode atomic nuclei, transforming them into gigantic black holes. These supermassive gravity monsters would then merge with one another and unite into a single black megahole. This monstrous structure would eventually contain all existing matter and finally swallow itself at the very last moment before the Big Crunch. According to the opinion of some scientists, this process would not necessarily mean the irrevocable end of the universe. Furthermore, it's conceivable that such a big crunch might be followed by another Big Bang and a new universe being born. Big Freeze as the name suggests, the so-called Big Freeze predicts a literal frosty end to the universe. Basically, this model refers to the basic assumption that the expansion of the universe will continue indefinitely. The further space expands, the lower the temperatures prevailing there will ultimately become. In the course of millions of years, the values will eventually approach absolute zero, with fatal consequences. First, the gas for the formation of new stars will be exhausted. The stars that already exist will continue to shine until they run out of fuel. What follows is a period of galactic darkness and cold. If the thesis proves true that protons are not stable and decay, the last remnants of stars would also disappear. What would remain then would be black holes, which dissolve by hawking radiation. Consequently, the temperature would reach a value consistent throughout the whole universe, where no thermodynamic work would be possible. This final thermal equilibrium of the universe would be equivalent to its heat death. We want your opinion. What are your thoughts on today's video? We're already looking forward to your comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits now. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.